Okay, so we're out by the lake right now. And this has been a place that's been um, a lot of peace to us during the years that we've been in this area. And something about the water, the way it falls and across the spillway. If you're patient, you can see deer poking out of the trees on the opposite side. We're going to flip this around and we'll see if we can flip it around and you can see um, what's going on there. <clears throat> and so today is day 44 of spironolactone and 14th day for estradiol, the sponsors of this video. And today we worked some more on our computer. We tried to attend a, a talk back session about a play, but that kind of didn't work. We, but we went to um, school and we got some self care materials they had set up for students. And then the weather is so weird right now that we wanted to be out here because it was kind of nice. And you know, it's in the 60s. Kind of don't want to be cooped up in a, inside since the winter is going to be coming and then we'll really be cooped up inside. But um, today we are um, being grateful for what we have for the life that we've been given and for the friends and loved ones that we have had in our life who've made this day possible and for the millions of human beings who came before us who have added to our communal knowledge and helped to make life a little bit easier than it was for people in the old days sometimes, although all of that making stuff easier also kind of makes things harder in a way. But anyway, um, we were just thinking when we came up here last, uh, it was about two months ago, and we had not yet gotten started on the hormone therapy treatment. And we were scared and we came out and painted and someone bought a painting of us. Um, but that was fun. A good memory. But today we're just sort of, uh, we started a Patreon um, because there are medical bills and because of there are things that we want to do that we don't have the resources to do, but we also want to give back to the wider community. So we set that up, and if you feel inclined, we know we haven't been doing our thing for very long, but um, if you feel so inclined, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And we hope to get, we, we have a meeting with our art instructor tomorrow. We have to get started on some more. Um, some more. Oh, we're finishing things up for our summer. We had to stop one class because of our, um, our leg. That issue. And then um, um, there's something else that we had to do today. <laughs> something else we had to do today. But. I guess the one thing that's no such it's Trans Awareness Week again. It's the Trans Awareness Week all week. And the 20th is Trans Day of Remembrance. And so we are um, just so grateful for the 
trans community that has uh, helped us through uh, getting this transition started. And we know the feeling of not being able to be yourself. This is kind of nice. We could just sit out here and stream, and watch things, play music, or something. But um, unfortunately, it's going to rain in a little bit, so we won't be able to do that. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we're we're wearing a, a short wig today. And, uh, Oh, the transgender census or survey it is going to happen soon. And we're going to take part in that. This is the first time it's been done in a while, too. So, and there's, there's what people all over the, the nation that you're not aware of. That are probably feeling isolated, probably feeling alone, probably feeling like nobody else feels this way, but there are people that care, and that's just really the thing we have to, we want to emphasize that you know, you're not alone, and there are resources available, and we don't want to be a downer you know, in all of our videos, because As a friend of ours, Joyce Seeker, was here today. Hey, Joyce. <laughs> Joyce Ann. Um, don't look back. There's, uh, there's always uh, tomorrow. Or there's always, you know, new things happen. And that's sort of what we have to do, too. You know, that uh, when your life has <clears throat> been a certain way for so long, and you think it can't be any other way. And then someone throws you a lifeline. And you grab hold of it. And so, we hope anyone today, if you hear this, hang on, have hope. Whatever your circumstances are. And we were thinking about, too, about being neurodivergent and the, the amount of understanding that we have today about the conditions and the way that our brain works is so much more than what it was when we were kids in high school and growing up. And yeah, we didn't, we got so um, weighed down by chronic pain that um, we couldn't even think about this. And now that we're able to sort of move around a little bit and um, feel light a little bit, it's like a, a huge weight was lifted off our shoulders. And so that's something to be grateful for too. And just the fact that the the, um, the planet hasn't burned up yet. <laughs> uh, those are the silly thoughts that cross over. 
Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> We're filming this, we feel, we feel silly. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Take care, hope you're having a good day.